It is Saturday. I just dropped my mom off at the airport. I spent most of this time just hanging out with her, trying to get the most of the time since I only get to see her like one time a year. Um, but now we're going to get back into the swing of things uh, now that she's gone. So I'm going to start doing all my holiday shopping, all of that stuff. And I'm currently going to go into a world market um, outside of Hobby Lobby. There's an Old Navy over here as well. Um, so I'm going to bring you along and show you what there is to see um, and show you what I get. So World Market didn't end up having what I needed. They didn't have any toys out. They didn't really have very much Christmas stuff. Um, all of their gingerbread houses are the kind that you construct um, like from and put them together yourself. And we are beginner level um, gingerbread houses, so that isn't gonna work. So I'm gonna go into Hobby Lobby. I'm also looking for like a set of gift wrap paper that goes together and you know, like, coordinates. Um, World Market wanted $10 per roll. It would have been $30 to get three rolls that kind of coordinated. And I'm not sure I want to really spend that much. So we're going to see if Hobby Lobby has any like pre-curated sets of gift paper. I mean, I don't know. I don't shop at Hobby Lobby. So maybe that's an unreasonable thing to expect to have there, but we'll see. So I am currently in Hobby Lobby. And let me tell you, this store is super, super, super overwhelming. <laughs> like, it's really huge. There's tons of people. You have to remember what's on sale, what's not on sale. You gotta look at charts. It's crazy. Um, it's like a, I feel like I'm getting exercise coming in here. It's so big. I'm like having to maneuver between people and stuff like that. Um, they, I haven't seen wrapping paper though, but I did find some other stuff, which I will probably show you when I get home. Just kidding, ended up leaving Hobby Lobby with nothing. I really decided that what was in my cart I didn't need because I still need to go somewhere to get gift wrap paper. Plus some of this stuff was actually on my list. I'm trying to do no unnecessary purchases for November. So I just had like the most embarrassing thing happen. I went to Starbucks, picked up a nice gigantic green tea, and then went to TJ Maxx next door because I'm still looking for gift wrap. And I found some gift wrap and I was pushing my cart because I was going to look at the toys. And the next thing I know, I spilled my tea everywhere. I mean, the whole thing. It's like was barely, barely drank any out of it. I spilled the whole thing all over the floor. And it's green tea, so it looks kind of like a body fluid. And like everyone is staring at me. There's no employees anywhere. And when there was an employee, come to find out they don't have mops at TJ Maxx. All they have is paper towels. And so he's got to use like paper towels to clean up like 20 ounces of iced tea. Um, so that was fun. Um, I still have no toys for the kids for Christmas. But I do have a present for the cat and I have wrapping paper and bows. So I guess that's progress. Okay, shopping update. Last time I checked in with you, I had an accident at TJ Maxx, but I did find the wrapping paper. Um, again, didn't find any gifts there. Didn't find, didn't find too much of anything. Like I didn't find anything at Hobby Lobby. I didn't find anything at World Market. Um, so I ended up ordering the kids presents from Amazon, which I don't like doing because they don't need any more of my money, but they had the best selection. And I also ordered a couple of things from Target for presents as well. I'm about to go into Target to get uh, like gingerbread house stuff um, so that we can make gingerbread houses. I get the pre-assembled and then I also like buy cute candy from the candy section to like decorate the houses with so outside of target right now and if i see anything good like gingerbread house wise or holiday wise i will share it with you since this is a holiday shopping vlog 
I always go into Target thinking I can film, but then I forget about the copyrighted music and just tons of people in the store. So what I think I'm going to do is if I get time, I'm going to show you what I got for the gingerbread houses. I will tell you, you guys cannot sit on shopping for Christmas because everything is selling out like crazy. So you're not going to have very much if you're a last minute shopper. So I promised that I was going to do a haul of the things that I got. So I'm going to be sharing like the different candy that I got, the gingerbread house stuff that I got, and a little bit of the decorations. I'm also going to link my Christmas tree that I purchased from Target and my wreath as well. So we're going to start with decor. I got these from the dollar spot probably a month ago. I've just been holding on to them. I probably should have shared them a little bit sooner because I'm pretty sure you can't get these anymore. And then I got these like twinkle light powdery pack things and I picked up some bottle brush trees. I wish I wouldn't have gotten the flocked ones because it's just like a glitter mess but it is what it is at this point. I did snag that famous um, Fraser fir candle from Amazon. Um, of course you have to have tons of magic tape. I went with the pre-built Target gingerbread houses. It has some candy in it because I was having a hard time source additional candy. So we might throw some sprinkles on it or whatever. Um, and then this is just candy that I got or things that um, I got for the holidays. I thought maybe we could put the Rolos on the um, gingerbread house. And then this is mostly stuff that I picked up from World Market. Um, these Kit Kats, these cookies, the weird mushrooms things, chocolate bombs, and Pocky. And then I thought maybe we could put this on the gingerbread house. My kids love like really colorful things, so I got that. And then, of course, this is like my all-time favorite candy. I like to have it. It's like pseudo fancy. So that is the first half of the haul. That's like candy and decor. Okay, now that we've seen the decor and the little things that I picked up, I'm going to talk about presents. I'm not going to get out all the presents that I got for my kids because they're kind of like carefully hidden and I don't want them to see them. But I am going to link all of the things that I purchased them in the description box. And I'm also going to show you um, what I grabbed my niece since it's still out. So my niece is 18 months and I found these like little snap beads that are like highly recommended on all of the developmental websites. They're designed in France. Um, they're good from 10 months to 36 months. None of the pieces are too small so you don't have to worry about a choking hazard. Um, but they're made to where you can have different stages of like dexterity and skill to be able to use them. All from like just making them pop to like beating them like actual beads. And then this is a book that my kids loved when they were toddlers. It's just like, you know, A is for Apple and it's got like really cute pictures. You can get both of these things on Amazon. So if you need something last minute um, as a gift for a toddler, these are perfect. So that is everything for decor and candy and gingerbread houses and presents. So I'm going to wrap this up here. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.